Google Chrome just got an update? Let's talk about it. Welcome to Clean Tech, home of daily technology news and reviews, and today we're going to be talking about the sidebars update that Google Chrome just received. Today's video is brought to you by Clean Router. More on them at the end of the video. So Chrome's new sidebar lets you blast through search results. For if you don't want to deal with going back and forth between the search page and the results it brings up. Let's jump right in. Google Chrome has a new sidebar that should make it faster and easier to check out a bunch of search results in a row without having to bounce back and forth between the search page and whatever websites it links to. Google also says that it's uh, bringing its price tracking feature to desktop after a few months of it being available on mobile versions of the browser. It's pretty neat. Uh, it basically, so for example, you know, you're on a website and you know, uh, and it could be anything obviously. And uh, let's say that it's Amazon and you know, you, you, you're looking at a product listing and you just want to look into the product, uh, you know, even more. So you want to do a quick Google search on it. So instead of having to open up a new tab, you would simply just use this new sidebar option, which would open up on that very same web page and uh, on the right hand side and you know in just a small column and you should be able to do uh, a google search on it and uh, you know basically get the results that you're after right on the same page without having to leave it at all uh, google's blog post explains how to access the new sidebar after you click on a search result you'll be taken to the web page and a little google logo will pop up in your address bar uh, clicking the button opens the sidebar that shows you results for the search you did to get to the page Though you can search for something new if you like From there you can click on results which will open in the main window of the tab Here's a quick gif that basically explains exactly that so uh, In this example just imagine you know you're looking at Amazon listings or something Or even you know uh, take this example exactly how it is and this is where the sidebar would pop up and you are basically able to do a quick Google search right on the same web page without having to open up a new tab or you know just going through all the back and forth that it usually entails for me uh, I, I think that you know this is a very neat feature edge uh, has had it for uh, quite a while on Microsoft Edge and that's one of the reasons you know why people tend to stick to it but it's nice to see that uh, well one of the key players in the browsers game is uh, finally deciding to adapt the same feature uh, this isn't Chrome's first sidebar attempt, obviously. Earlier this year, Google rolled out a new feature that let you uh, get at your reading list and bookmarks from a slide-out pane. Uh, the search feature shows up in the same area and even highlights the sidebar button. Uh, the feature is also similar to Edge's sidebar, though Microsoft's version has a lot more functionality packed inside and acts more like a separate mini browser than a control pane for loading search results in the main window. I mean, I'm using Edge to display or read through this blog article right now and you know that's just one of the great things about Edge like the sidebar and you know the ability to search through it it's just implemented so seamlessly and you know it's just uh, basically a very capable feature to say the least and uh, while Google has introduced this uh, I'm sure you know they took inspiration from Microsoft Edge and uh, uh, it's a very good chance that they'll you know, hopefully in the near future, try to one up then in one way or another. I mean, you know, the Google way. Um, we have a uh, price tracking feature that we just talked about, which will be coming sometime in the near future. Uh, Google also announced that Chrome will be getting a built in uh, price tracking feature that will send you emails whenever a certain product gets cheaper. In theory, a quote track price button should show up whenever you visit a store page and are signed into the browser, though. Uh, this user couldn't get it to show up in either the current version of Chrome or the beta branch. Uh, the feature has been in the works for a bit. Google announced it as part of a big shopping push last month. Um, and there's obviously a couple of questions around this. Like, is this going to work simply, uh, you know, with the keyword or the title of whatever the product is called across the entire internet? Is it going to work on specific websites for said product? Um, is it a group of websites? So there's obviously a couple of questions that come, uh, you know, into light when you talk about tracking the price of a specific product. 
but all in all i mean uh it, it's it's a neat thing to have it, it it would be a pretty nice update i would imagine that they would uh, either give you push notifications on your phone assuming you have uh, a Google account signed into your phone or uh, you know uh, send you email notifications preferably via Gmail but you know uh, maybe they'll allow you to receive email notifications of uh, you know uh, price drops on uh, your favorite products uh, via Yahoo or iCloud or whatever but all in all I think uh, browsers, you know, uh, I mean, it, it's been a while. Th they need an overhaul. And uh, uh, while it, it's not as big as, you know, one might hope, it, it's still a step in the right direction. And I can def definitely appreciate it for what it is. But yeah, that's just my thoughts on it. What are yours? Down in the comment section below. Clean Router is the only router you will ever need because it allows parents to easily manage all the devices in their homes and stop internet pornography. It's simple and easy to use, doesn't slow down the internet, and allows you to block pornography, gambling, and anything else that you don't want your kids to see using the 7 layer IntelliFilter. Logs all activities per device. It also allows you to put time restrictions, get email reports, and gives you the ability to block content by keywords and even filters YouTube. Check them out in the description box down below. Thank you so much for watching and you have a great day.